Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about how much a web designer gets paid. Uh, web designer, I'm going to split into two different, um, oh, I guess a few different pieces. Graphic designer, uh, web developer, and then the person who can do both. So a graphic designer uh, gets paid anywhere between 40000 once they first start, and or uh, 35000 And I think the highest end graphic designer I know of in Houston gets paid around eighty five. And she is very, very good at what she does. But I don't think graphic designers get typically get paid more than fifty or sixty dollars, six, yeah, fifty or sixty thousand uh, dollars a year from an agency, although like a mid to small size agency sometimes can afford a fifty five thousand dollar graphic designer. Um, it depends on how much they value graphic design over something like PPC, right? So anyway, um, a high-end graphic designer in Houston is 80,000 max. Um, I haven't seen, like, I would be surprised if someone made more than that um, than my friend, but I don't know, that's only my opinion. So all of these prices are based on my experience interviewing people, seeing what people wanted to ask and having my own friends who work in marketing. Uh, so graphic designers are typically, they don't get paid as much as their web developer. Web developers get paid anywhere between 50000 to upwards of 200000 Or um, Having a web developer is in Houston is difficult, finding a good one is difficult. And there's, sometimes they ask for a very large salary. And that depends on whether or not they can execute the web development, uh, which again, once we, when we were hiring for web developers, you have all types of backgrounds, all types of people, uh, but typically they are very good at negotiating contracts. So I'm not sure like if they go to a school or something like that, typically graphic designers are not good at negotiating contracts at all, but web developers are extremely, even outside school, they must take like a class or something. And so a web developer, um, it really is based on, from my point of view, is can you execute? And very, very fast, you know, in a very fast timeline with milestones, you can figure out how to execute. Graphic design is more like, hmm, I don't know if this is good or bad, I don't know. Um, a lot of times it's taste. And when you're dealing with something subjective like taste, um, then you get into more rangy, Prices, so you can go anywhere from thirty-five to eighty, and that's a big, very, very big range of uh, prices. And then, but for developers, most experienced web developers get paid a hundred or more, but most unexperienced web developers get paid fifty or less, or fifty-five or less, or sixty or less, uh, generally speaking. And so, someone who can do both of these, a web designer. In my opinion, someone who can do web development and web graphic design for like logo design, all of that cool stuff, they should actually get paid more but they do than both of these people, but they do not. They actually get paid seventy to ninety thousand. And I'm not sure why that is the case. Uh, maybe because when you hire a web a developer, uh, they were doing more advanced stuff that the web designer wouldn't necessarily know how to do like a development might be able to do a mobile app a web app a native app all that type of stuff that the a web designer because he's learning two different fields he wouldn't need to know but as from the non-agency point from the freelancing point the web designer definitely can charge way more than both of these people and sometimes the charges are pretty crazy graphic design charges can range between 25 an hour to 85 an hour uh, web development can range between 60 an hour to 100 plus an hour. Really depends. It really depends on the quality of the person and the, again, I always go back to this, how much do you trust that person? And that's a huge, huge part of this industry is trust factors, trust badges, uh, certifications, all that type of stuff. I know like, because you don't, there's many ways for them to destroy your brand, but there's only one or a few different ways for them to make your brand work. And do you really want to put your baby in like someone's hands who like, again, the PPC example, PG from Dallas, hundred, every paycheck was 
5400 and she didn't even have the common decency to log on to the AdWords account. Yeah, it's scary guys. Bye.